Hi, this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our Teach at Home math video series. This is week 10, day two. So today, we're going to take those graphs that we made yesterday, and we're gonna solve problems with them. We're gonna figure out what was the favorite fruit, or what was the least favorite fruit. So come join me today as we explore solving problems with our graphs. So today, we're going to begin with a graph that you might have seen. If you joined us yesterday, then you've probably already seen this graph. Well, today we're going to use this graph to solve some problems. So we're going to answer some questions. The first thing I want to do before I answer any questions is just, I want you to look at the graph and tell me, what do you notice? What are some things that you notice? Hmm. How many of you noticed some oranges? Do you see these? Well, it might be helpful that we label this as the row with the oranges because that's the category. That's one of the categories. What's this? What else did you notice? Oh, you noticed there were some apples. Yep. And what else? And some bananas. So those are some really good noticings that you've already noticed before we ever um, before we ever answer any questions. So here, let's answer our first question. What fruit was the most favorite? So which fruit was the most favorite? Did you say orange? How do you know it's the orange? Can you tell the person sitting next to you or tell the screen, how do you know it's orange? How do you know orange was the, the most favorite? How many of you said, because when I'm looking at the graph, I can see that this orange right here extends further than any of the other ones. I can just see that it's more. Yeah, I bet you can say that. Yeah, you can just see that it's more. Is there another way you could tell me that it's more? Hmm, I wonder if you could say, well, I know oranges is how much? It's four, and the apples are three. I know four is more than three, so that has to be the most. I can check the bananas, and that is two. Yeah, that's another reason why that's the most. What about which fruit was the least favorite? Which was the least favorite? Did you say banana? Yeah, so why is the banana the, the least favorite fruit? Or how do you know? We don't maybe know why it is, but how do you know the banana is the least favorite? Some of you are like, well, because that orange down here, we saw how it extended, but look right here. If I look at the if I look at the bananas, they kind of go right there. So that's that is less than any of the other ones. That is a way to know that. Some other people are like, well, I knew how many of each one, and I know that two is less than three, and two is less than four. So that means it has to be the least favorite because it has the fewest number of votes. The next question says, what was the total number of pieces of fruit? So when we brought our real fruit to this graph, what was the total number of pieces of fruit that we had on our graph? How many of you said nine? Nine pieces of fruit. Yeah, and how do you know it's nine? How'd you get nine? How many of you were like, well, I went like this. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is definitely a way to do that. How many of you were like, no, nope, I didn't do that. I just started with four and I went five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a way counting on is a great way to do that. 
We don't have to count everything. How many of you are like, you noticed something? How many of you noticed this two and three? What do you know about two and three? Makes five, doesn't it? And so you could go five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's lots of different ways to get to nine. So let's look at another graph that you saw yesterday. So yesterday you saw a graph called types of shoes where we took off our shoes and then we sorted them into the different types. And so today we're gonna answer some questions. What type shoe was worn the most? So remember, let's notice what's on our graph too first. These are, we're gonna call our sneakers. And these are our bowling shoes. And these are our flip-flops. Okay, so what type of shoe was worn the most? Ah, did you say sneakers? And how do you know it's sneakers? How do you know? Maybe notice that, well, it filled up the whole graph all the way over here. And so these have to be less than that. That's definitely a way to figure out that that is the most. Is there any other way to figure out that it's the most? Well, could you count? How many sneakers are there? Did you say five? How many bowling shoes are there? Three. And how many flip-flops? One. So is three less than five? Yes, is one less than five? Yeah, so it has to be sneakers. So what type of shoe was worn the least? Which one was worn the least? Did you say flip-flop? Yeah, the flip-flop was worn the least. It's only one, and one is less than three and less than five. Nice job. So what was the total number of shoes on the graph? How many shoes were on this graph? How many of you said there were nine shoes? Oh, nine again? Hmm, how did you get nine? How many of you were like, well, I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you could count all of them. How many of you tried counting on? And if you counted on, which number did you start with? How many of you started with, you knew this was five, so you were like, it's five, I'm gonna go six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, counting on is a really nice way of being able to count very efficiently. So today, what we've done is we're using our graph to solve problems. In this case, we used our real picture graphs that we made from the day before, and we use them to solve problems. If you'd like to practice more on this, please visit handtomind.com where you can find more activities. Hope you all have a great rest of the day.